Cancer, hi. So this is going to be a reading for July 1st through the 7th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings. So they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see. Cancer, what is going on for you? The overall energy for the reading, the King of Wands. Um, I kind of get this as the energy you're dealing with, but it could be your energy as well. I'm not entirely sure. I'm kind of 50-50 on that for now. But it's showing up as a good energy, regardless of whether it's yours or somebody else's, but we'll see. In the recent past, the Hermit, the King of Swords, the King of Pentacles. You're growing up here, basically. A whole lot of growing up, uh, especially from... Um, like, taking charge kind of an aspect. Taking charge. Uh, I don't know how to explain that. I don't see you becoming a boss or anything. Well, it could be. could be reflected like that. But, like, just owning your reality, your life, what you make out of it. Um, potentially, yes, tied up to a sense of a job or something. But there's a lot of growth there. Really stepping into your power there big time. In the current situation, the Two of Wands, the Nine of Swords, the Star, you're trying to figure out some things. I see you really, really, really desiring something. I don't know what it is, but it feels like you're trying to sort through that in terms of some things about what it is that you want are shown up to be quite unclear. Um, there's a little bit of confusion here and there or just kind of tying up loose ends there for something. Um, and you've been doing it for a minute here, by the looks of it. You're still in this process of figuring stuff out because some things look quite stressful. And it's like we got to eliminate that from feeling like that, you know. In the um, immediate future, the Six of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, the Death card. There's a soul connection that shows up here. So this could be from someone you work with to a friend to a family dynamic situation. But something over there within the dynamic is definitely closing off. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's clarify. Uh, Blue, cut it out! Blue! Blue, ti blue! Come to mama! No more barking! Yeah, that works every time. All right, for the King of Wands, you get the Strength card, the Queen of Swords, the Eight of Cups. Um, this is someone you don't see eye to eye with right now. This is someone that is part of your life somehow, but there's a sense of disconnection between the two of you for now, at this moment in time. Um, okay. <clears throat> Let's do the Hermit. The Queen of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Hermit. That's a freaking massive energy of healing there for you. Of growth, of healing, of expansion, especially from your heart. And it's it's beautiful. And it's like you're coming out of this as a brand new person. You know? So, Cool. Let me do the King of Swords. The Eight of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, the Three of Pentacles. All right. So this could be in regards to either work or something you're working on in terms of a project. Because I do see partnerships in there. And some of them are quite deceptive. Some of those partnerships. It's almost like you have to sort through. Okay. Does this person work for what I have in mind here? Or this one, or this one, or this one. So it's kind of like bumping into all types of energies like that and establishing what works for this, what doesn't. But it does seem like you're in charge, so you may have a, a, an idea or 
a plan for something and then you know you're kind of sorting through energies to see which ones you want to take with you there um let's do the king of pentacles bloopsie bloop what's going on baby boy why you bark come here come to mama oh, oh. easy on those paws they're big for the King of Pentacles, you get the Knight of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Wands. For the most part, as you proceed through this planning out of some, or, or, or even taking this plan somewhere and starting to work on it, uh, you feel very good, very confident in it. The only thing that shows up a little... You still have to sort things through when it comes to that is the people you're allowing to join in you know uh the the partners you may encounter along the way which kind of makes sense because it's you know but the only the only the the you, you're coming at this with new tools you know because again, again you're coming from a lot of healing a lot of a, a shift in perspective if you want so you're not going to look at things in the same way that you did before where maybe I, and i don't know that to be true but maybe before you were welcoming to anybody oh you want to work on this come on we can do this yeah and then two days after it's like where the fuck are they they're not showing up they're not well, what's going on it's okay we'll forgive them you know it's fine they can come back whenever they want or something this time around you're showing up more structured that's what i said when i when i that's what i meant when i said the the energies are showing up more grown up more mature in that way okay easy easy you go hurt yourself you go hurt yourself Let's do, ooh, ew, your nose is very wet. Let's do the two of wands in the current situation. You get the four of pentacles, the king of pentacles, the death card. Ah, this is, ah, I don't know what you're doing here. Uh, but you're owning up to something here for sure and sometimes you just gotta wait for things to to pan out too you know because you you can only do so much yeah you can make certain decisions you can plan things out you can put this together with this with this with that with the other but sometimes you just have to wait for certain things to to fall into place too and that's that's where you're at right now where it looks like you're waiting for something to to kind of fall into place here um without much of planning much of your hand in it um hmm. interesting let's do the nine of swords you get the knight of swords the six of cups the four of swords that's the six of cups here this is the situation that feels to, go, to be going through some changes. And that's what we're talking about here. With whatever it is you're letting to settle, it has to do with the soul connection. So this could be one of those partnerships there that showed up for you for this one. Or someone you work with, someone you plan to work with. But something about the situation is stressing the hell out of you. And it almost feels like it's holding you back um in the way that you present yourself because you have an ongoing kind of an energy and then shows up this energy and then i see you waiting so it, it almost feels like something about the situation is holding you back where you're trying to move forward um let me do the star you, you know you're 40 pounds worth of something on my lap you're not you're not that light boy and I got my leg under my butt, and now I can't feel my leg anymore because I got an extra weight on it, which is you. But okay. Um, for the star, you get the two of swords, the king of wands, the nine of wands. That's the king of wands there. 
Yeah, that's the energy where it showed up from the get-go that something right now is off between the two of you. There's a sense of disconnection there. There's a sense of just not being on the same page with this energy. And I don't see you necessarily taking any kinds of decisions, making any kinds of decisions here, um, nor them. I kind of see you in standby over this for now. Um... But something about this situation with whoever this is stresses the hell out of you. So it kind of almost disrupts the flow. You're coming from a place of climbing up and then bam, there you are pausing. Because you have to deal with whatever this is. And sometimes it's going to happen in that way. It's not necessarily a bad thing like, oh yeah, they're holding me back. I should get rid of them. No, not necessarily. You're having a tendency to approach this in the right way in the sense of you're recognizing that you're not very clear about what's at play here and that you're confused about something or stressed out about something and you're kind of allowing for all the energies to settle down before you can make any kinds of decisions. So the way you're going about it is right. Now, I'm just saying how those energies show up. That's it. That, that doesn't make it good or bad. Like This one is holding you back. Get, get them out of here. No, no, no. It's not about that. You know? There's definitely a pause here in your ascension. Um, let me do the Six of Cups in the immediate future. The Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands. Things are falling into this energy of coming back around in a good way. You know, if you let them, if you allow them. And from what I'm seeing, you are. So things have that potential to work out here. Whereas if now you're not on the same page, you might actually go back to being on the same page. You know, so it's just showing up as a stressful period of time for you here. Uh, but things have the tendency to come back around here by the looks of it. Let me do the nine of pentacles, the nine of swords, the seven of pentacles, the page of cups. You're still stressed out by the looks of it. But you are feeling a little more grounded, so there's still not 100% clarity on your side. But there's there's a sense of feeling that, okay, you know, things are starting to, to move in a good direction here. Cool. Let me do the death card in the um, immediate future. The Ten of Cups, the Lovers, the Chariot. There's a sudden stop. There's a sudden ending to something. I don't think we're talking about this one, though. I think it's something else. And I feel like it's something, even though the lover shows up here, I feel like it's something that comes from within you. So I feel like this is a personal cycle that could be coming to a close. And it could have to do with your healing over something or someone. I don't think it's involved in this situation where, oh, everything's fine, but then psh, done. No, no, no. I don't see it like that. This is yours. Yours and yours only. And it has to do with closing off a cycle that I feel like maybe you've healed who knows for how long and who knows when this cycle started for you. Because it's not, it's definitely not a new one. It's an ongoing one for who knows how long. So it's part of your healing right there. And that's good that you're closing off. And this is a big one by the looks of it. So not a lot of... Um, um concerns here if you kind of allow for the energies to to unfold naturally here you should be fine and, and again i get a sense that you are even even if it feels a little more stressed um stressing right now the situation you're dealing with you're still kind of allowing for that to unfold and then again allowing for the energies to change back up so i like the way you're um approaching these things these energies and the shifts that are coming into play uh let me see what the universe has to close it off the three of swords the higher fin the page of pentacles yeah if anything you're kind of giving me a sense of you're not looking at whatever happens here and pointing fingers at, oh yeah they're holding me back oh yeah this that and the other oh yeah i have to waste all of this time to concern myself with this no, you're looking at everything as a chance to learn something from it. 
So as this happens, you're taking it as what's the lesson here, you know, which is very mature. Again, I said that I saw that and very healthy way to, to look at things, you know. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.